Satanism is one of the most misunderstood worldviews, often confused with Hollywood stereotypes and hated by Abrahamic religions. The two basic forms of Satanism are Rational Satanism Theistic Satanism When you boil Satanism down to its basic elements there are essentially only two types, rational, atheistic, and theistic. Within each group, you will find a variety of chains of thought. Rational Satanism The two most well-known groups that fall into this category are, Larvaean Satanism and the Satanic Temple. The Church of Satan is the oldest and most well-known organization of Larvaean Satanism, as it was founded by Anton Larvae in the late 1960s. Members of the Church of Satan consider themselves to be the only true Satanists and think of anyone else as just pretenders. Many independent Satanists consider themselves Larvaean as they have read the Satanic Bible and it has resonated with them. They feel it is the best way to describe their worldview. The Satanic Temple falls into atheistic Satanism, though they accept people who follow other paths. This organization tends to be more humanistic and political than others. The Satanic Temple is also the only Satanic organization in the United States to be recognized as an official religion. Theistic Satanism, otherwise referred to as Religious Satanism, Spiritual Satanism, or Traditional Satanism, is an umbrella term for religious groups that consider Satan to be an objectively existing deity, supernatural being, or force which is worthy of worship and supplication whom individuals may contact, convene with, and even praise. Theistic Satanists believe their own individualized concept based on pieces of all these diverse conceptions of Satan, according to their inclination and spiritual guidance, rather than only believe in one suggested interpretation. Some may choose to live out the myths and stereotypes, but Christianity is not always the primary frame of reference for Theistic Satanists. It may be based on dark pagan, left-hand path, black magic, and occult tradition. Many who choose this path are independent Satanists, though some may form covens or other organizations, the most well-known of which is the Temple of Set. There are other Satanist paths out there that fall under the overall umbrella, but they are too numerous to list. We will, however mention a couple of groups that most Satanists will have nothing to do with. Order of the Nine Angels and Joy of Satan are two groups that most Satanists view as predatory in nature. These groups are shunned and encouraged by most Satanists to avoid. They are either racist or predatory groomers.
This has been just a brief introduction to some of the different forms of Satanism. We highly recommend that you explore the topic on your own. Feel free to leave questions in the comments section or hit grumps up on Discord.